Offering a breathtaking view of Havana, it is nice to enjoy some steak at Nazdorovie, the only Soviet-themed restaurant in the island nation. Es muy bueno que La Habana ahora mismo está creando una cultura culinaria de diversidad. Y no solo de comida cubana y comida internacional, que es una fusión de todo, sino comida cubana, riquísima. Comida internacional, riquísima. Y ahora, poco a poco, lugares que están enfocando en comida de nicho, comida de una cultura específica. Y yo creo que eso enriquece la cultura. From a starter of meat-filled pielmeni raviolis to a creamy stroganoff beef with fresh mushrooms, followed by a strong shot of vodka with some caviar to complement the meal, a die-hard gourmet has no choice but to return to Nazdorovie time and time again. We lived here seven years ago, but we never ate the food of Russia. So we want to try it in another country to see. Binyovsky opened this eatery after President Raul Castro launched his economic reforms in 2010. He chose to cash in on the 30-year strong alliance between his motherland and the former Soviet Union. His Russian dishes now bring in hundreds of locals, foreign residents and tourists every day into a nostalgic aura set up with outdated posters, dolls and memorabilia. On the other side of town, Topoli has also managed to carve a niche in the gastronomic arena of Havana offering Iranian cuisine for the last two years. Los cubanos piensan que aquí tenemos un restaurant diferente. Yo no hablo de calidad porque no, no puedo hablar de eso, pero de verdad que la cultura iraní es nueva en Cuba. Among its most requested dishes is falafel, a typical Iranian vegetable croquette. Also on demand is the national dish of Iran, the shilo kebab kabude. It is made up of lamb, white rice, shirazi salad, grilled tomatoes, yogurt, and mint dip. Estoy contento de una parte que después de tres años ahora hay mucha, mucha gente que viene aquí que tiene placer de conocer otra cultura. For Cubans, these restaurants offer a unique chance to learn about new culinary concepts especially in demand after years of traditional dishes being based on rice, beans and pork due to the severe economic crisis suffered by Cuba in the 1990s. Es una novedad que en definitiva lo que hace es ampliar el el diapasón cultural, la información cultural que que los cubanos, o sea, puedan tener eh de de la cultura culinaria de distintas de distintos países, distintas eh regiones del mundo. With up to 4 million tourists expected this year, many self-employed Cubans are still bracing to start new businesses that will literally turn the capital into a smorgasbord of flavors. As one of the results of the economic transformation carried out by the government in recent years, the explosion of flavors and foreign cultures has multiplied Cavana's culinary delights, leaving imaginations and expectations to run wild.